What's up guys? Baker here. Today, I got a cool tutorial called Custom Glitches. So, I'm not going to be giving these out. Um, all I'm doing is showing you the things I've made and I'm going to give you some ideas and tips and I want you guys to try to make your own custom glitches and um, springboard off of these ideas. So, quick uh, preview. I'm not going to go over every single thing but these are the things that I've made so here's my first one I made use this in fucking vicious you might have seen it a couple times um, this one I used in super over edit this one's kinda of fun to make really easy this one was in my zerp OCE this one is um, probably one of the coolest and craziest and last one is just kinda of more subtle almost like scratches glitches because the other ones are pretty pretty out there so things you can do so we'll start by making a composition and um, it doesn't need to be very long maybe just two seconds because you can always loop these so whenever you make a glitch um, in a project you want to make it and pre-render it out and re-import it if you try to use it as a pre-composed comp and overlay it on something else it takes so long to render and my After Effects has crashed a couple times because of that. So you want to um, make this uh, pre-rendered and everything. So I'll do 59.94 frames per second and 720p, why not? Okay. So first thing I want to do is um, you just want a whole bunch of randomness. So you can see a bunch of lines and dots and um, you know things and stuff. So what I did here is just make a solid, any solid, and we're going to go to uh, light sweep, I believe. CC light sweep. So you get this cool line looking thing, right? So I'll turn the edge intensity down because I don't want that line at the top. Um, I can make it a color. I'll make it red. And I can make the intensity up a little bit. Where is it? So a little bit brighter. And you can just keyframe this from one side to another. So I'll just keyframe that. And we'll also use a hue and saturation so that as it goes through, it's going to cycle through a bunch of colors. And so it's going to be super psychedelic. Awesome. Keyframe channel range, go to the end, spin this around a bunch of times. So, also, if you want more than one, since two seconds will be pretty slow, just go ahead and make um, each thing, let's say, 10 to 15 frames max. So I'm just going to go in here and just uh, move these keyframes over here and trim it using alt and bracket. So anytime you do a glitch you want things to happen really fast and um, yeah so I'm, I'll just duplicate this slide it over the second one could be um, rotated for the light sweep maybe this way and um, it'll look a little bit different so it's like one goes this way one goes this way also not showing up because these need to be add so set these to add so a bunch of things coming on and um, you can alt or change the speeds so um, another thing like the second example we'll make a new solid doesn't matter what color we'll apply a fill and you just want to take a rectangle tool and just mask out somewhere in the middle like that then if you have twitch you're gonna need twitch so apply some twitch and we'll change the speed up to like I don't know 30 we can enable let's say the um, slide I guess uh, light a little bit and we'll go into behavior no nope, not behavior operator controls so this red bar is gonna be shaking and um, going crazy right so let's see, does the RGB split do anything? I don't think it will because it's just red. Okay. Don't kill yourself. So don't, you don't have to do that. So you have like a red bar going crazy. Make sure you trim this pretty short. So about, again, 10 frames or so. So you can just duplicate it, change the color to like a light blue, and delete the mask and then change your mask so maybe make a thin one a little bit lower so you get and then slide it over offsets so you get 
random lines and stuff and then duplicate slide it over make a new color maybe green and then delete the mask push M delete the mask maybe make a, a vertical mask over here so you just get a whole bunch of random bars wiggling and going crazy and twitching and stuff um, okay so let's say you do that and um, let me just uh, duplicate everything and slide it over and just try to you know randomize it the more random stuff you get the better so whole bunch of random stuff let's say you fill it up and you get something like um, like this guy right pretty simple what you can do is use this as a new base for a new glitch so you can just take your glitch here pre-compose it and we got it right here now I'm just gonna apply more effects to this so what I can do is make an adjustment layer and if you have digi effects damage we'll go ahead and use that this is third party so you might have to find it somewhere same thing with twitch that is third party so I can use something like uh, destabilize I think this one kinda shakes it or something and get some nice RGB split I'm going to duplicate it and on this one I'm gonna take off destabilize also let me bring down the resolution it's getting laggy alright so after destabilize we can do something like um, interference and maybe if there's a preset or not no just get something I don't think interference was it let's see just you know find a whole bunch of effects maybe artifact was a good one yeah so we can do different types of artifacts from what I remember there we go JPEG noise there's blackout recolor you know shifter I think JPEG noise is okay so you get something like this um, another thing that'll be cool is we'll make an adjustment layer and um, we'll put on some off set and then we can just you know bring this over and down and stuff and um, we're just gonna wiggle this offset like crazy so we're gonna go wiggle we'll go I don't know 30 times a second and thousand pixels there we go so now if I take off these adjustment layers just this glitch is just wiggling like crazy and it's even more random and it's uh crazy so bring back these effects and um, I can just duplicate another destabilize and put this on top and um, you know now it's even more crazy what you can do since it's a little too much only black I wanna make a new solid put this all the way on the bottom set your glitch to add and on that black solid we'll just make like a fractal noise and um, let me solo the fractal noise real quick so my fractal noise I'm gonna make the transform uh, scale down so it's really tiny so you get kind of like a, you know, like a TV static so we can boost up the contrast you can darken it and stuff and find a good balance so when you um, actually view it make sure it's not too powerful because it might look kinda gross so find the right type of uh, brightness and um, one tricky thing I found is when you view it on quarter it's gonna be different than what it looks like on full so make sure even though full will take a while to you know preview and and see what it actually looks like uh, make sure you get your glitch exactly how you want it to look like so it might take you a while so again the more randomness the better so just make a whole bunch of adjustment layers with random effects you can do you know turbulent uh, displace you can do wave warp just make this all crazy one more uh, cool trick I found is if you look closely on this very first glitch I made let's see if I can go in slow motion at the end there's like a uh, this guy uh, like a missing video thing so what you can do is just import any type of file um, I was gonna use my temporary picture and just import it oh look at that guy oh nice okay so you import it and you say let's uh, save our our file so this is gonna be um, glitch tutorial so this can be in your 
a project or whatever and just uh, close your After Effects. Then go to your file, that temporary file, go to temp and just move it or delete it, doesn't matter. Then reopen your After Effects. And uh, I'll cut this part because this might take uh, a minute or two. Okay, I'm back. So we'll open Glitch Tutorial back up. And it says we have a project file missing. That's okay because we don't need it. So what's cool about this, if I turn all these off real quick, I get that picture. And what I should have done, man, um, if you went and renamed it before you deleted it, like something like Baker is cool, and um, and it was in here, Baker is cool, and then you moved it and deleted it, this top um, file name will say Baker is cool. So it can be like a little hidden Easter egg um, in your glitch, see if people will catch it, because on this one, I think it was just um, testvid.mov, if you can read that, yeah. So it's pretty fast, but if you can, uh, you know, do a secret message, that'd be kind of cool. So, you know, you can just trim this and, um, come on, trim. So all its begin and end bracket. Just put it down somewhere. I don't even know. Uh, set it to add. And now you get more cool randomness to your uh, glitches. And you get this cool TV missing thing. So... Anyways, I want you guys to try to come up with new glitches on your own using these kind of ideas. A um, bunch of random solids with Twitch on them. You can do um, uh, fractal noise. You can do a bunch of masks. You can do wave warps, turbulent displays. Just bring everything you can into a glitch. A uh, bunch of layers. Make them really short, really fast. And... Um, bunch of effects on adjustment layers and it'll be cool real fun fun stuff so anyways go ahead and uh, like the video maybe a favorite uh, share it on Facebook or Twitter or something like that if you have any questions feel free to ask me in the comments or check me out on Facebook I talk to my fans on there um, I think that's about it uh, if you have any uh, what's the word? if you make any edits with this custom glitch or if maybe if you make a glitch pack or something I don't really like glitch packs because um, it kinda loses creativity you kinda wanna make them yourself it makes it more fun but um, if you make something go ahead and post a video response I'll take a look at it pretty cool stuff so anyways like the video okay peace